For more than 60 years, scientists and engineers have been trying to develop ways to allow machines to see and understand visual data. Unlike sentences, which are meaningful information formed after human thinking, the basic information of a picture is pixels. And the pixels themselves are meaningless. At the same time, computer vision requires a lot of data. It runs a data analysis over and over until it can identify the differences and finally identify the images. For example, training a computer to recognize automobile tires requires inputting a large number of images and, uh, and tire related data to learn tire differences and identify them, especially tires without defects. Today, we're so pleased to invite Dr. Zhao Xiaopeng to introduce the details of the Huawei Cloud Pangu CV Big Model. Welcome. Hi, everyone. I'm Xiaopeng Zhang from Huawei Cloud. Let me introduce the Pangu Virtual Production Model. As AI enters thousands of industries, cloud services is now facing a large number of fragmented themes, and more than 80% are virtual or virtual-based tasks. However, Current AI development often requires AI experts to adapt to different scenarios. It is a long development cycle and very expensive. And importantly, the algorithm is not generalized. The purpose of Pangu v impression model is to build an easy-to-use AI development workflow in the form of pre-training plus fine-tuning based on the pre-trained large models. Such solutions can bring many advantages including high algorithm accuracy, good generation performance, and easy to accumulate industry knowledge. Specifically, we designed a hierarchical training framework. We termed as L0, L1, and L2. Here, L0 represents the basic models, which is mainly pre-trained on massive unlabeled data. L1 is an industry model, which is pre-trained on specific industry data and enjoys better representation ability for specific themes. L2 is a deployed model and is usually a variety of small models produced by L1 through our design Pangu workflow. The three levels can be interactively optimized. For example, L0 can provide initialization to accelerate convergence of L1 and L2 can feed back L1 by accumulating corner case samples or industry experience. Currently, the L0 model has more than 1 billion data with a maximum of 3 billion parameters and has been verified on more than 30 public datasets. The performance reaches the first level at the same parameter scale. At L1 level, we have built industry models on cocoa maps, electric power, railways, and other fields. Compared with long industry models, the average accuracy is increased by more than 5%. And at the same time, it enjoys stronger ability for future learning. For the L2 level, we design Pangu workflow based on the pre-trained models to automatically produce deployed models. The workflow supports dynamic extraction of models with different sizes. Users only need to provide sample input and can realize automatic deployment by operations like pulling, dragging, and dropping. This is saving more than 10 times of manpower and compute resources. So doctor, what use cases does it have now? Pangu v model solution has been deeply involved in some key industries over the past two years. In the electric power inspection, we use more than 1.5 million data for industry pre-training. And it ranked first in the evaluation of non-major power defects held by the Electric Power Research Institute. And this achievement was released at Huawei HDC 2021. In the industry quality inspection for the Southern Factory, using the automatically produced model by Pangu workflow, with only 10 samples per category, we can achieve high performance compared with the manual optimization with even 40 samples, and the inference speed is more than twice as fast. In the railway TFDS project, using more than 2 million industry data, it has surpassed the performance of the manual detection in recognition of six major station defects. Pangu v model is also deeply involved in the cocoa man themes and aims to create a large-scale model solution we termed as Pangu Man. The Coco Man theme is more complex, covering eight major categories and ranging hundreds of subcategories. To solve this issue, 
we develop corresponding workflows by summarizing the co command sign into representative tasks. Currently, we have supported five workflows, including object detection, image classification, and uh, anomaly identification. It is planned to complete eight to 10 workflows, covering more than 95% of CocoMan standards. We also promote the ecological construction for the CocoMan industry, and are holding the national CocoMan AI competition based on our Pangu development platform. We hope that in the future, Pangu platform can attract more industries. What do you think is the trend of CV large models? I think the combination of virtual modes and other modality will be a major trend in the future. Now we have explored the viewing of virtual and uh, like infrared and sound modalities in coco mams and uh, electric power inspection scenarios. In the actual solution, it should be a comprehensive solution that integrates various modality information covering weighing, NLP, sound, structural data, and so on. How to efficiently integrate this information and formulate a reproducible solution and also a main challenge. On the other hand, it is necessary to explore solutions that will understand the specific industry. The large model provides a very good development solution, which can carry out efficient deployment, but it doesn't solve all problems. How to combine the industry experience with large model framework? Designing effective industry solutions with the advantages of fast iteration and high efficiency is also an important direction for generalizing large model solutions. Thank you so much for today. Look forward to our next talk. Thanks for watching this episode on Cloud Focus. I hope you like it. Please scan the left QR code for more documents about Huawei Cloud technologies and the right QR code for more help in a Huawei Cloud Developer Forum. There's more to come, so stay tuned. I'll see you next Wednesday.